to understand Madurainam. You have to understand psychosis first. And what is psychosis? I have shared this with you earlier as well, if you remember. That whenever you study any psychotic medicine, you will have two groups of psychotic medicines. One group of psychotic medicines who are expressive, who express everything, which is always outward, right? So it could be expression of any emotion, it could be expression of anger, so rage, shouting, you have that in nitric acid. Expression of grief, weeping, you have that in pulsatilla. Expression of emotions, just talking and talking, you have in lachesis. So one variety of psychosis is the expressive variety, where they are always expressing their feelings, they are always expressing their emotions, whatever is inside. It could be an expression of rage and anger, it could be an expression of weeping, it could be an expression of just talking, expressing what you have inside. So that is the expressive variety of psychosis. That's how you understand medicines like pulsatilla, medicines like nitric acid, medicines like lachesis. But again on the other hand, you have a psychosis which is the inward variety, who do not express, who do not share with you human emotions, human behavior which people do not like to tell and you come to know that through their behavior, through their expressions and that is your inward variety of psychosis. Think of the deceitful behavior, think of the manipulative behavior of Thuya, think of the jealousy, oh she is thinking about. Um, uh, the suspiciousness, I am sorry, the suspiciousness of Lachesis, she is thinking about me, she is plotting against me, oh she has a nice dress, so jealousy of Lachesis. Think of the grief of Natmur, she hurt me, I cannot revert back that hurt. So that is the inward variety of psychosis, you are with me, that you have with Natmur, right. So you have a group of psychotic medicines who are always expressive, who are venting out their emotions, whereas on the other hand you have also an inward variety of psychosis who are always keeping their emotions inside. That is why you understand medicines of natural mute, the retention of nat mute, the manipulation of thuya, the deceitful nature. You know I exploit people, I will never tell you oh I am an exploitative person, will I? But you come to know through their actions, through their behavior, through their gestures that they are manipulative, that they are exploitative. Right? Like Lachesis, the jealousy, the suspiciousness you have with Lachesis. So when you put psychotic medicines in perspective, you will see one is the expressive, one is the outward variety of psychosis, whereas the other is the inward variety of psychosis, they are always keeping it inside. And if you understand this spectrum of psychotic emotions, you will be able to understand Medorina. Because that spectrum of psychotic emotions is very valid and very justified with medurinum. Why and how? Medurinum is absolutely like a pendulum. You know, you see a pendulum, it swings from one pole to another pole. And that is why one of the words described for medurinum is on one hand you find profusion, where there is always expression. So they are workaholic, they are shouting, they are restless, they are aggressive, so there is profusion, excess of everything. Whereas on the other hand in Medurinum you have inversion, they become absolutely dull, you know they cannot interact, they become absolutely self-centered, you are with me? So on one hand you have the profusion, the excess, it could be sexual excess, so sexual addicts, they could, it could be work excess, workaholics. It could be just physically restless, hyperactive, you are with me? Or on the other hand, in case of Medurinum, you can have inversion. What is inversion? Absolutely dull, absolutely self-centered, not interacting with anyone, so that you can also get with, med with Medurinum. And therefore, because on one hand you have the profusion, on the other hand you have the inversion, and that makes Medurinum the key word for Medurinum is extreme in excess. So whenever you hear this word for Medurinum, extreme in excess. So human behavior, 
human nature which Medrainam possesses is either one extreme or the other in one personality. So you'll be wondering seeing him in the first visit. Oh, he's so soft and shy like Pulsatilla. Should I give him Pulsatilla? Next visit you find, oh, he's so destructive and aggressive like a Tarantula. Should I give him a Tarantula? So whenever that kind of polar behavior you'll find, Medrainam becomes such a fantastic medicine. It's not mood swings which you get with Pulsatilla or Ignatia. It's not like that. It's not like mood variations. It's like opposite, exactly opposite human behaviors. And that makes Medrainum different from any other mood swing medicine. Forget about Ignatia, forget about Pulsatilla, forget about Tuberculinum. They all have mood swings. But it's, this is like contra behavior in one personality over a period of time. That's why sometimes it's not possible to understand Medrainum in the first visit. But as time progresses, as he's been under your treatment, you'll see that he has the rage, the aggression of nitric acid in one visit. Next time he has the apathy and indifference of phosphoric acid. So how to judge? So that's why it's like a pendulum, it either goes from one pole to another. So either you have excess profusion of behavior or you have inversion of behavior. You understand what I mean? That's why I said if you understand psychosis well, you'll understand medrinum. Because why? There's one group of psychotic medicines who are always outburst, express, the another group of psychotic medicines <coughs> pulling it inside. Right? Because if you think of psychosis, you have lachesis, which is a psychotic medicine, loquacious, talkative. Also, you have natromule, which is a psychotic medicine, retention. Right? So sometimes people confuse that how can they both be psychotic? Yes, you can. Because you have that opposite nature's traits in psychotic miasm and that opposite spectrum you'll find absolutely in Medrano. right that's why i said opposite behavior now if you look here you see this picture extre contrasting extremes that's absolutely applicable for Medrano. brilliant or poor grades so year one you 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 got highest in metromedica and organon and repertory <laughs> But she didn't fail in oh. year two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lowest in year two. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> so topper in year one, lowest in year two. So that's Medrainam. Extreme in excess. Brilliant or dull? It's nothing in between. They cannot be average. They either have to top all subjects or they fail in all subjects. Right? So brilliant or poor grades. Cruel or compassion. That's what I was saying. First visit, you the child comes to you, you think, oh, he's so nice, such a nice boy. He loves his cat. He's petting his cat. Next visit, he comes, the cat is dead. Threw it from the third floor. Why? Right? Oh, no. So can be compassionate like phosphorus, sympathetic like phosphorus, can be cruel like tarantula. An extreme. You see, this is if you compare human traits, and if you think how extreme they can be. You'll have that with Medrina. That's why it's a, such a fantastic medicine, bipolar. Because you get that extreme kind of behavior. Schizophrenia, you get the extreme kind of behavior. Right? Total abstinence or overindulgence. One visit, they'll tell you, oh, I have total aversion to sexual intercourse. I hate, you know, like it's once in every six weeks or eight weeks or once in six months. Next visit, they come, oh, I love having sex. It's every day, twice a day. So total abstinence overindulgence. So one visit you feel, oh, should I give him a phosphoric acid? It's so aversion to sexual. Next visit you think, should I, should I give him a hyoscyamus? He's so sexually active. Right? Wild expressions, exuberant. So very talkative, very bubbly like phosphorus in one visit. Or totally self-centered, totally retained like Nat Mew. So you'll find that contrasting behaviors. So wild, you have this in the handout, right? Page, what page? Page six. Six, yes. So wildly expressive like phosphorus or totally self-centered like that. You see the top picture is so important because it's not just mood swings. It's just two opposite personalities in one person. Absolutely, totally polar. That's why I use the, always use the word polar because it's either north or south. It cannot be in between for Medrina. Because there are a lot of medicines in your Metromedica, I repeat, a lot of medicines who have mood swings. Starting from Pulsatilla, Ignatia, Tuberculinum, a lot of medicines. But none have got this kind of extreme 
behavior and whatever behavior they have they take it to the extreme excess point if i am compassionate i am compassionate like to highest degree of compassion i can have if i am cruel i'll be cruel to the highest degree of cruelty i can have right and that's what makes medrainam so special parents themselves cannot tell you what oh i don't know my what my child because it's such erratic and extreme behavior you ask them to give me five words to describe your son it'll tell you cruel compassion sympathetic right introvert sociable right so they you know sometimes you will see when you are doing a case taking you will find two behaviors which don't match with each other parents are highlighting i have seen that when the you know, people fill up the case form parents have highlighted mild plus 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 but at the same time irritable plus 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 sympathetic plus 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 aggressive plus 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 right so you, you know that's when medrainam should strike in your head how can this be in one person you cannot expect a sympathetic person to be cruel or aggressive right and that's when medrainam should strike you opposite contrasting behaviors in one personality again you see extreme and erratic loner or sociable as i shared with you they can be like phosphorus sociable or they can be loner passionate lover fascinated with sex beauty and money or they can be withdrawn you remember with huya they have secret obsessions for sex money alcohol so they can be fascinated with that or they can be withdrawn passionate lover burnet mentions this medrainam is one of your top medicines for masturbation in a child if you get a 6 year old 8 year old who is heavily masturbating remember medrainam why medrainam is prepared from what the gonorrheal discharge gonorrheal discharge can never be acquired by having sexual contact with your normal partner is generally acquired when you have sexual contact outside your domain you understand what i mean right so the urge or i'm sorry the gonorrheal discharge is acquired by excessive sexual urge which is acquired by going outside of your circle yeah. right and therefore your midrainum always wants to try something new sexually especially sexually right because if you think of the doctrine of signature the gonorrheal discharge is acquired by having sexual contact with another woman who is generally not your partner generally obviously if you have bad luck it can be acquired with your wife as well so but generally outside your domain risky but it's masculine sorry risky 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 behavior yeah yeah it's like they want sexual experiences which are outside of natural right this is excess excess again so this is the basic nature of medrainam i'm talking about basic nature right and therefore think of a 7 year old 8 year old who you don't expect to indulge in masturbation but that hyper sexuality has developed in them from such a young age because of the medrainam nature and therefore masturbating and uh, masturbation a 6 year old 7 year old because they want sexual experiences outside of the domain it is not natural for a 8 year old to masturbate aggressively but medrainam does that because of the doctrine of signature you understand what i mean that's important for medrainam there for lot of hypersexuality you will find with medrainam that's important you see i've mentioned that fascinated with sex beauty and money withdrawn introvert or extrovert they can be it's a, it's a wrong thing just uh, correct that introvert introvert is written it should be introvert extrovert oh it's corrected okay 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 right so that's important about your medrainam so if you think of some of the basic natures obviously hypersexuality is one of the basic natures of medrainam right you come to here again this is again some of the basic natures they're very very hurried again if you think that's a psychosis again they can be slow but hurried is one of the traits of medrainam you see time passes too slowly very very hurried biting nails this is very very important for medrainam 
children you'll see a lot of biting nails teenagers a lot of biting nails very restless hypersexual you can help with medrina nail biting is very very important thumb sucking medicine thumb sucking we have then calcarea force thumb sucking is calcarea force nail biting is sucking the thumb you see some of the children do that even 8 year old 9 year old thumb sucking you have that to calc force can you go from a calc force to a medrina okay psychotic excess always on a hurry always on the edge restless but again they can be apathetic they can be slow but mostly you know it's like a 70 30 70 percent of medrina will be hurried but again because they have the extreme in excess they can be absolutely slow sluggish like calcarea but they can be the hurried nature as well right always hurried ex quick quick everything is quick biting the nails that's important i shared that with you aggressive this is also important for medrinum they can be quite aggressive as i shared with you they can be sympathetic at the same time they can be cruel right so cruel and aggressive very very important shuns responsibilities this is also one of the interesting things of medrinum always you'll find medrinum is generally procrastinating we have two very important medicines for procrastination one is medrinum other is like a podium right Lycopodium and medrinum have both procrastinate, both delay from today to tomorrow. Lycopodium is due to the low self-confidence. But in case of medrinum, they are so hurried that they are unfortunately not being able to do anything. And that's why they procrastinate. Low self-confidence is not a factor for medrinum. They are so hurried that they are not able to finish things. A. B. Their memory and intellect is quite poor for medrinum. Therefore, they cannot concentrate for long periods of time. You have to understand it's a psychotic medicine. So absent-mindedness is a key factor. Right? So they cannot concentrate for long periods of time. Hence, any school work they do, they procrastinate. That's why you see this excess job, procrastination. And that's one of the very, very interesting features of your medrinum. So hurried, if you think that in perspective, that they are very, very hurried. And now if you think physically hurried, so they are restless, right, hyperactive. Mentally, what happens? It affects them intellectually as well. You will find medrinum having a lot of learning difficulties. And do remember, medrinum's weakest, weakest link is spelling. Thank you. Spelling. Yes. Even like writing H O W, how are you? They cannot write that. They want, they think that how to write how. Even the common words they misspell. Kent mentions this, Heading mentions this, Heading mentions this specifically that even a common word, like a simple spelling, like H O W, they don't know how it's spelled. And that's such an important criteria for your metarhinum. So if you think children, if you focus on the children age group, children with hypersexuality, heavy masturbation in 8 year old, 9 year old, right? A, B, children with a lot of learning difficulties. What is the weakest link? Spelling. Common spellings they misspell, right? And children who are very, very hurried as well as they procrastinate. That's very important. Very hurried and procrastinate. And D for children can be very aggressive as well. Can be extreme in excess, but aggressive nature is common with medrinum children. Are you with me? You got the points? Hypersexuality with very hurried, procrastinating behavior, learning difficulties, especially spelling, and they can be quite aggressive. Always rushing, always anticipating, restless, psychotic, psychotic, psychotic.
you see i've mentioned here this is what i was talking about desire to experience everything so they want all kinds of sexual contact you know you'll find a lot of midrainums to be bisexual because they want different types of stimulating sexual experiences you remember tuberculinum also wants to experience everything but it's more to do with nature desire to travel more to do with other kinds of stimulation that was calcadia force right if you remember calcadia force likes to have drugs like to have different kinds of recreational drugs because they like to experience change from the point of view of drugs tuberculinum wants to experience change from the point of view of traveling i like to see the world i like to see whatever whatever nature has in store for me but midrina wants to experience change in terms of sexuality right i've seen midrina people go for sex tourism in different parts of the world wherever is the sex capital of the world they will go <laughs> bank for I thought Amsterdam was. No, that's mild. <laughs> Those places. Amsterdam. Severe. Severe. Plus, 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 three grade. <laughs> Generally, Amsterdam is uh, was known, used to be known. It used to be, yeah. It used to be in the seventies and eighties, yeah. Now they have, you know, six children in Thailand. Hmm. Four years. So that desire to experience everything. is in relation with sexuality right because again you remember the doctrine of signature it's prepared from the gonorrheal discharge acquired by sexual contact going outside of what you have right and because of that that's why i shared with you very common medicine for you'll see children with restless syndrome you'll find them to have some hypersexual behavior sometimes and if it's a 6 year old 7 year old think of at rhino how is imus can they have do that how is imus how is imus like to explore but also to have sex also masturbation yes yes hypersexuality is important even phosphorus as well can have hypersexuality but especially if it's in the children age group and rhino is really really applicable you will see the personality contrasting extremes over the top why over the top always excess 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 over the top workaholic is very important for medrine two other medicines workaholic nagswamika macab thank you nagswamika macab medrine workaholic loves working nagswamika macab medrine very hurried very restless that's important social and friendly can be social and friendly again they can be loner as well so it's like this is like a 70 30 social and friendly more but again can be loner and totally totally unsocial you got this in the handout right mm, can you find no some of the points are mentioned here mm. okay workaholic is mentioned okay over the top is important hardy does i shared with you this is a good picture oscillates between niceness and nastiness you know you have this heard the story of jekyll and hyde jekyll and hyde is a very interesting story where mr Mr Hyde use and Dr Jekyll was one person right and in the morning he was a very eminent businessman a very eminent uh, person of the village right so everybody used to respect him but people were finding that every night something was been stolen from their homes 
So they didn't know, they were searching who might, might be the thief. And ultimately it was discovered Dr. Jekyll was the thief. And he used to go to everyone's home at night and just steal things. So such a nice person on the outside, but at the same time he was doing nasty behavior. So that kind of, you see, oscillates between niceness and nastiness. On the medicine, who can be like this? Devil on one shoulder, angel on other shoulder. Devil on one shoulder, angel on the other shoulder. That is Anakadia. So to a certain extent, Medrainam can have that as well. But anacardium, it's always in the mind. It's a tug of war going in the mind. But medrainum, it's a theater going on in their life. Right? So it's for you to see. Right? After the tug of war. Brain is <laughs> fuzzed out. But in case of medrainum, it's all in the... If you have a medrainum child or a partner, it's always a... 24 hour movie going on. Thuja will not never show their nastiness. But for Midrainam's nastiness you can see. Jekyll and Hyde is close to Thuja, yes. But um, Midrainam, if they do anything nasty or destructive, it's for to see. But Thuja is nice smile and kill you from the back. Right. God help you if you have a Thuya partner. You see, compulsive need to experience more passion until driven to extremes of sexual contact. Drug or alcohol abuse, physical violence. This is more important, sexual. They need to experience more passion. So extremes of sexual conduct. Believe me, you will hear, get that a lot in, in, the, in, in Europe and US where people love to do sex, sex tourism, you know, they need more sexual stimulation, different types of sexual contacts. Medrainam is one of them. Right. To a certain extent, I will say, but you know that that will be more syphilitic, you know. So, like Medrainum is more psychotic. That kind of shooting, doing that, I will say that's more more um, syphilitic. Like that will be more lysine picture, you know, because lysine can have that kind of. Um, lack of social interaction, they are quiet and then go to a point of destruction. You remember lysine travels to sora psychosis syphilis. So but that's more lysine. Not less I will say it's less compared to lysine. Like even if there is aggression of medrainum, it's maximum throwing things or cruelty to pets. But you know, not going to that extent. That's more like lysine does, does that, you know going to that extent. Okay. Thank you. Coming back. Uh, sorry. You see, maybe cruel to animals or his children. Oscillates with niceness and nastiness. Cruelty and kindness. Kicking the cat, then stroking it. <coughs> so you kick it and then take it up. Again kick it and then again take it up. Stroke it. Lovely, isn't it? So by the time he has 10 kicks, the cat is already dead. <laughs> That's terrible. Right? It's just, that was exaggeration, but, <laughs> you know, it's not in a period, in a period of um, days. It generally takes months, like two, three months. Oh, I love my cat. I want to take my cat out for a walk. I want to give my cat a shower. And then the fourth month. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Taking it by the tail and giving it a good spin. 
that you have with Madurainam. Okay. Talking is interesting. They talk very, very hurriedly for Madurainam. This is very hurried speech. You know, give a lot of importance to this and you get a patient who talks very, very quickly. Generally psychotic, but we have quite a few medicines who talk very, very hurriedly. Hello, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for a long time. You know, it's just like the, it's like a train is gushing through. Clear? Can talk. Bryonia as well does that. Talks hurriedly. Bryonia, uh, hypersulf, talk very, very hurriedly. Right? Repeating himself frequently as he has a fear of being misunderstood. So they can repeat as well. But that's more for Zincom. You remember Zincom eco speech? Right? How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So that was Zincom. But here they can repeat as well. Workaholic is quite important for Medrinum as well. Excessively passionate people, I shared this with you, bites his fingernails and toes. Very important nail biting is quite characteristic for your Medrinum. You see the top picture, unruly, un indisciplined child. Youngster who is constantly touching things, breaking them, tripping over himself, rashly lurching to do everything hasty. Do, the, do things very, very quickly. That's important for your medorhinum. Patient bounces between extremes, A to F in exam. That's what I said. First, first same, excellent. Second same, gone. Extreme in excess. Procrastinate, I've shared this with you. Violent temper tantrums, kicks or strikes parents, fights with other children. You see, the aggression is related to more fighting and this side. It's not like, like killing someone, so that will be more syphilitic. Right? Aggressive biting of fingernails, fighting children. Nature, you have this in the handout, right? No? Few interesting things. Weeping amelioration, very, very important. Medrinum, as, as you understand, is a psychotic medicine. So, expressing their emotions, right? Have a quick look in Allen's, please, for Medrinum. There's a line in Allen's for Medrinum cannot speak without weeping. So, they can be quite weepy, like your pulsatilla or like your sepia. Did you get that line? Undermined cannot speak without weeping. Yes. Got it? In italics, right? Yeah. Cannot speak without weeping. Weeps when pressed about her symptoms. Pulsatilla weeps when narrating her symptoms. You press sepia, you ask sepia, sepia weeps when pressing about her symptoms. When you press, Clark mentions that. They can cry, but you have to, you know, poke to make her cry. Pulsatilla is like a tap. Like a tap. You open it, she starts to cry. Sepia has to be pressed. Every time they talk, they cry. So they're so emotional, can cry as well. Oh. And cries when thanked? You say like, oh. you, you, you mean uh, cry easily? They cry like, easily. Oh. Every time they talk, like, oh. they can cry. Oh. <laughs> you, got, you understood that? Ah. Cannot speak without weeping. Cries when thanked is like a podium. Cries when alone? Sepia. 
pressed emotionally, not you press them and they start crying. Yeah, grab them. <laughs> right? All right, so weeping is important, they can cry. Hurried, I already shared that with you, they can be very hurried. Contrasting, I've shared this with you as well. Extreme in excess, remember that word. That's more or less about your medorinum. So what you got? Quickly, summary. Six major indications. I shared with you the first and foremost is extreme in excess, right? So it can be expressive behavior in terms of profusion. It can be totally inward behavior in terms of inversion. Remember the two words, profusion, inversion, right? So the key word extreme in excess, you have profusion on one hand, you have inversion on the other hand, right? So it's extreme in excess is like a pendulum, right? What is the profusion? You can get workaholic, right? You can get hypersexuality. You can get restless, you can get hurried speech, you are with me? What is the inversion on the other hand? Absent minded, right, dull, introvert, right, you can add here extrovert. So that kind of extreme in excess you'll find with medorinum. You are with me? What are the few other characteristics I shared with you? Biting nails, right? Quite aggressive, right? Once new sexual experiences, right, and procrastinator, because of the low intellect and learning difficulty, what area is affected? Simple spellings and also in the profusion you can add here weepy. Again, an expression of emotion, right? Weepy. Also, you can add here sexual apathy for in inversion, right? So, that is quite important for your medorinum. This is the basic traits and this is the extreme in excess which you can experience with medorinum. Excellent medicine for bipolar, schizophrenia, learning difficulties, autism, right, any age group.